Welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce, guys. <laughs> I'm here just chuckling with my guest because he has a really cool name. <laughs> his name is King Masai Muli. King is his actual name. Like, you're on Jinala Kwanza. Yes, on the ID. Wow. Yes. Hey, your parents were with it. <laughs> they were with so it. So now, I mean, Kwana Shanga, Masai Muli. Nime Muliza, are you part Masai? Akasema, no. Kamba. Kamba. Uh, yes. But Baba Kakosa Jin. Alikuwa na Nita. Hey, Kijana ni Masai sana. <laughs> then, mm, welcome to the show, thank King. You, thank you. Really thank good you. to have you mm, here. Thank you. All right, so um, we're actually uh, going to be talking about technology and innovation, and specifically looking at animation. And uh, for you, you started off as a painter. Yes, I started off as a painter, and gradually, I moved to animation. Okay. Yes. And uh, how how long ago were you a painter? Was art and creativity something that was always in you? Did it develop over time? Uh, I started I started art while I was in primary school. Okay. While we were being taught, I used to draw on my exercise book. Mm -hmm. And then, as <laughs> I grew older, uh, I came to find out that you can draw on your on canvases and everything yeah. else. So I started I started painting. Okay. And these are really cool. I mean, the detailing is, is really great, especially <laughs> on that bird. Um, but talk to me about animation. How big is that as an industry here in Kenya? Animation is a really big industry, but most, of li most people usually neglect it because they majorly focus on 3D, three dimension. But there's a whole line of animation that they, they fail to see, which okay. is two dimension. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Explain two-dimensional animation then to us. Two-dimension, I can explain it in this sense. If you're looking at uh, an image, you can view it in the front and the side only. Okay. But when it comes to 3D, you can view it in three, three dimensions. Okay. In three dimensions. All right. In 2D, it's a really awesome aspect, I can say, because we... Uh, it is flexible because mm -hmm. 3D is usually rigid because once you develop a character, it's hard to, to adjust it. Okay. But in two dimension, it is, the creativity is all about you and okay. it's not about the character. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So who are you typically creating these animations for? Is it, are there maybe specific businesses or partners that... Um, desire this type of animation? Yeah, there are so many people who desire. Like, mostly I do corporates mm -hmm. because they would like to advertise their products. Mm -hmm. Maybe someone has a business and then he wants to advertise it and does not have the equipment to make a video shoot. Yeah. So I just create a character and then that character explains the whole context of the business okay. and it's they are all okay. Nice. So yes. you've been able to work with quite a few corporates. Yeah, I've been able to work with. Quite it's a seeming few. like you've now shifted almost entirely into animation. Yes, over. yes, yes. Is that now your new love? It it is actually. I started off doing film. Okay. There was this German company that was offering scholarship for film. Yeah. And then I took it. I took it up, and in the course of me learning film, I was interested in animation. Okay but the trainers were not willing to teach me. Okay. So I, I took it upon myself to teach myself the mm. animation bit. You self-taught? Mm. Yes, I'm self-taught. Wow, self pretty cool. Yeah. In fact, we have some images though that we mm. want to share um, with our audience members of some of your work, yes. some of your animation work. Yes. And there we have it on screen. Hopefully you can see that too. Yes, um, but this is an example of his work. Tell us about this one. This one is about the ladies who were saying Prokopanda. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, it kind of looks like her, Prokopanda. <laughs> wow. You're self-taught? Like all yes, of this I'm is self-taught? Self -taught? Yes. That's pretty amazing. You kind of learn along the way. Yeah. You make mistakes, you rectify your mistakes, and then you get better. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Wow. So where, what's your dream? Like, where are you hoping to go with all of this? Disney. Wow. I love it. Mm, Big dream. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Amazing. So most of the work that you do then is, is advertisement driven. Yes. It's so have you then also had to like learn some marketing skills as far as, you know, what works, you know, mm. what attracts people, what yes, pulls them into 
Mm -hmm. So far, what would you say has been one of your favorite projects? One of my favorite projects. It has been the 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 previous video that you've seen, uh -huh. the pizza advertisement. It's a pizza advertisement. Yes. It's a company. It's called Pizza Mtaani. Okay. They reached out to me, and then they wanted to me to make an advertisement for their pizza. Okay. And then when I, when in the process of me making it, it was very interesting because I had to go to where they they were. Mm -hmm. I look at the environment, and I had to make the whole area from scratch. Wow. Yeah. To but look like the animation to look like the to look actual, like the place. Yes, the actual place. That's pretty yeah. cool. That's been one of your favorites so yes, far. Yes, that has been one of my favorite. Okay, okay. Yeah. How long does it typically then take to do something? On average, how long are these, first of all? Does the time frame matter? Or it depends on the client? It depends on the client, but every, every client has a time frame mm -hmm. that they want their, pro their animation on. Mm -hmm. So I usually set myself to four to five days okay. to make sure that I have finished completely the animation. But animation takes a lot of time. I'm sure. Yeah, it takes a lot of time. And despite the fact that I'm doing it alone, uh, it, it, it kind of needs a big team. Yeah. So in the process of me making animation, I kind of I, I met up with a few f a few friends of mine, mm -hmm. and now we're doing it together as a okay. group, which is which makes it easier now. So each someone does different parts of the yes, same animation. Yes, someone does different parts. Uh, uh, approximately, how many parts are we talking about? Is this a very complicated there's, process? There's the there's the sketching. Mm -hmm. Someone comes up with the idea, and then we sketch an idea. Yeah, like yeah. I, like literally, tell me how it works. So there's you sketch. We sketch the idea. Mm -hmm. Now we we someone draws in a paper we sketch everything and then we look at the, it's like uh, what do you call it a plan of how exactly it's supposed to work mm -hmm. and then when once we we agree on that plan we go now to the software okay we start rigging creating creating the characters that we're supposed to make is it like a is, is it like a stylus or what are you using like to actually create the characters to create the characters i i'm using a software it's called adobe animate okay so that's the software that I used to draw on, but we usually draw on a tablet. Okay. Uh, uh, it's called a Wacom tablet. Okay. You draw on it, and then it's it's generated on the software. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So your painting background certainly came came in handy. Yes. Yes. It came in handy. Because to do this, you need to be somewhat of an artist. Yes, you need to be somewhat of an artist. It's not impossible to do animation, <laughs> but in a way, you need to at least understand art. Yeah. Yes. Okay, yes. so once you've sketched it then and put it on this tablet thing and it goes mm. onto your screen, mm. what happens then? Once now it goes to your screen, you start rigging the characters. Once the characters have been, have been rigged and they are good to go, now you go to painting them. Once they've been painted, you go to color grading <laughs> and then you're, you do the final edit. Okay. Yes. Wow. Okay. So it is a bit of a process. It's a bit of a process. No wonder yeah. you, especially now if you're building up the number of characters. Yes. And in fact, there's another of your um, animations there. Mm. Tell me, what is he waving? Uh, that was a Christmas animation. Uh -huh. I wanted to tell everyone her Merry Christmas. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I really like, I wish we could go back to the one for Poco Panda. <laughs> 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 I really liked it. <laughs> um, how how does one get like the character to look so as real? I mean, that must be a challenge. That's probably mm -hmm. the hardest part. Like especially if it's a character that we've say seen on TV. Yes. To make the person look like the animation look like the actual person must yes. be very tricky. It's 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 a bit tricky because you have to look for the key the key elements in that character. Yeah. Because you know, like for instance, Ryla, he likes wearing that yes. cape. Yes. So if you don't draw, if you draw Raila without that cape, it's, like, who's, it's that? who's that guy? Yeah, you see, yeah. <laughs> right, right. So we have to look for that, those aspects of okay. that character okay. that can bring him to life. All right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So it sounds like you're open to business to a lot of different things. Yes. And I really <laughs> like that you are self-taught, I mean, and have identified opportunities for yourself. Yes. Um, so how can people get in touch with you should they want to um, maybe reach out to you for some work? Yeah, I have a social media page. It's called, my company is called Muliski Animations. Okay. Muliski. Muliski. Okay. Yes, from, my, from the name Muli. Muli, yes, okay. Muliski okay. Animations. Uh-huh. And they can get in touch with me also on email, muliskianimations at gmail.com. Okay. And 
any uh, you can also is your work on social media yes my work is majorly social media okay Mulisky digital well. creation yes digital creation yes all right yeah. thank you so much king muli <laughs> <laughs> for coming on to the yeah. show it's been great chatting to you yeah, thank and you. all the best yeah, in your future endeavors as thank well thank you all right, guys, we need to take a break as we get ready for our final segment for the day. We're going to be bringing you our fitness segment, and it's going to be on looking at Taekwondo as a sport. This is coming up next. Stay tuned.